Listen, check it out now. Listen, man, it's very rare that I report something that I barely even believe. Because honestly, I'm reading the stuff. It is facts because I stay facts only. But holy, this don't make no sense. It got to be another angle and I'm trying to figure it out. But I ain't going to lie to y'all. I'm tapped out. So I'm going to rely on my audience. Maybe y'all could explain to me what's going on. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's go to Jacksonville. If you guys don't know about the whole Jacksonville like rap scene, it's pretty violent. Now, people have seen most recently where we have Young and Ace and Julio Fulio getting into it, but we do see like you know these popular diss songs floating around. Of course, Who I Smoke and When I See You. Now, you're gonna notice about both of these songs, they're gonna mention a bunch of individuals that you might not know because their rap career was probably not that big by the time they either got killed or got locked up. One of these individuals who got locked up is Queso. Apparently, to put it in, you know, short terms, he's like the Grim Reaper, okay? That dude, he is like Kobe with the pistol, okay? He not playing around. Now, this is all allegedly. I don't know if he did a goddamn thing. However, this is how people talk about him in either music or in the streets of Jacksonville. Now, this is what confuses me. Now, apparently Queso's brother or two brothers got shot and his cousin got shot while they were uh, while his father was driving a car one day. Now, this is where the father comes in. So imagine a father of Queso, two other boys, and also you have your nephew in the car. Everybody gets shot. I'm not sure if the father gets shot, but he was able to, uh, enough to drive the car to the hospital. Anyway, definitely one of them passed away. It might have been two, but his son passed away. So essentially, the top shooter, Queso, his brother passes away okay now there was a very popular interview that the father did basically kind of horrified because keep in mind he had to drive the car with his sons deceased in the back i think i guess two or three cars pulled up on the side of us shot inside our car over 100 times killed my son in the front seat shot my son in the back in the, in the head three times shot my nephew several times a couple more passengers in there were shot uh, several times numerous of times and i drove all the way from there to memorial hospital shot in the back myself twice and he had to bring that car to the hospital you can imagine how confused he is and also mad he is imagine raising your kid for like 20 years and some goddamn deranged gunman kills them right now this is where it get interesting because eventually Queso and his father get locked up and they get locked up because of what was thought to be a retaliation killing. Now, I'm going to just use common sense with y'all. Makes sense, right? Hey, if you kill the son of this guy and you kill the brother of this top shooter, makes sense they collab on, you know, what I mean, a hit or whatever revenge type of stuff they're going to do. OK, cool. So they arrest Queso, they arrest the father because they did find out that both of them were involved. Anyway, they gave the, the, the father like a, a murder charge and an accessory to murder charge on two murder charges, right? And they gave basically Queso murder charges or two murder charges, okay? Now, we have to imagine, and this is where I got to appeal to y'all humanity. We clearly have never been in this situation or most of us have not been, but however, I do have to appeal to the humanity in y'all because think about this, okay? If somebody kills your loved one, whether you're a street dude or you're not, if you did retaliate, it is what it is, right? You know what I mean? Listen, blood for blood, some people say eye for an eye. Except what's happening now and what we're getting to find out is apparently after sitting in jail for over a year or so, they're saying that the father is about to flip on the son. They're saying that the father of Queso is going to flip on him. Now, what does that mean? They say he's going to be testifying for the state in Queso's case, which this has me so discombobulated. I don't know what's going on. Think about it. Hey, if somebody killed our brother and you're my father and we both go handle some stuff, let's just say allegedly. Damn it, man. We got to hold it down. They messed with the fam. We went to ride out. We got to go to trial and we got to live and die by the results. However, they ain't even at trial yet, and they're saying that the father is about to flip on the son. Now, think about it, okay, because there's no official thing on court documents that said he's going to be snitching. However, it does say he will be cooperating. So, number one, he got moved out of the same jail as his son. Secondly, he is now on the witness list or the, 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 um, uh, the, the list of people that will be testifying at trial. 
So he's going to be testifying for the prosecutor, which the prosecutor is not going to take a chance and roll a dice and just put any random person on the stand. They're going to put somebody on the stand that's going to be saying something that could help them prove their case. So what does that mean? That actually means that perhaps the father is going to be saying something incriminating against the son. This is why it's so confusing to me, because I can't understand or I can't even believe that's going to be possible. You know what your son was you, like. So I'm, I'm just talking off the cuff here. You know what your son was into? Your son was in the streets. OK, because of some of the stuff he was into while being in the streets, one of your other kids got ki killed. Also, you were in the vehicle when people try to kill everybody in the vehicle. You survived. It doesn't it like for you to then be accompanying your son in some revenge stuff you can't tell on your son like come on man like listen i understand when gang members telling each other because really there's really no loyalty in the streets but your family y'all were riding for the family i can't believe this i don't even think this is going on there's gotta be another angle that i'm not thinking about i try to think about it's 30 different ways there gotta be another angle somebody tell me what am i missing why would the father tell on the son unless and this is the only thing I've ever thought about when it came to this. Maybe the father wasn't with whatever retaliation actions. And maybe he's just not into that gang stuff and he just wanted to end this whole cycle of violence. And he got implicated in charge because maybe, I don't know, he was with his son at the time for whatever reason. Who knows? But I just can't understand why the hell the father is flipping or allegedly will be testifying against the son it just doesn't make sense to me okay somebody please make this make sense because queso's father testifying against him if he says whatever the cops are hoping him to say i will think that this is going to be the thing that sinks queso okay get the comment box make sure you guys like them subscribe one of the weirdest cases i've ever covered i'm going to start covering this a little bit more because i can't believe this element which means we probably got to delve into some other stuff that probably is our underlying that we're not thinking about but a father is about to flip on his son for a case which they allegedly caught for retaliation to some other dudes who allegedly killed their brother and son, which is crazy. Anyway, you guys get in the comment box. Make sure you guys like them, subscribe. Y'all got to get in the comment section. I got to read what y'all got to say because I am confused. It's more academics. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Oh.